What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Eddie Knight. Welcome back to Nerdy Before It Was Cool, where we talk TV and film, especially ones that have to do with comic book characters, man. Look, a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel because of my YCW shows keep getting worse video. So I thought it was only right that we touch on this topic of the CW being up for sale. I know a lot of people have already reported on this, but it sounds like a lot of them actually haven't read the article. So I wanna go over what it actually says in that article a little bit talk about what's true what isn't and some future possibilities for the CW moving forward and most importantly what this means for all the DC shows that were on the network so apparently the CW network hasn't been profitable since its creation in 2006 so back in the day WB had their own channel and then at one point they combined with UPN then they split from UPN and then joined with CBS and Viacom to make the CW network They've had a few successful shows over the years and a lot of shows that are long running like Supernatural with 15 seasons and currently running, Smallville had 10 seasons. There have been shows that people have really enjoyed, but for every show people have enjoyed, there's been about 10 or 12 that either A, started to be in development and got canceled, or B, got put out and got canceled immediately after the first season. According to the article, when CBS, Viacom, and WB decides to sell to whoever buys this thing, their networks are still going to be providing a lot of the content for the CW. They'll be the creatives and not the funders is what all that means. So if Batwoman or The Flash or Riverdale, whatever series already has a contract in place with CW, whoever takes the CW over is still going to be fulfilling the rest of that contract. Now after that contract is fulfilled, Whoever takes over this thing can decide to cut whatever they want, whatever's not profitable. And we already see things like Supergirl came to an end, Arrow came to an end last year. There's been rumors that season eight is gonna be the last season of The Flash. So we're seeing a lot of shows come to an end, but it's not necessarily because the CW's up for sale. So if you're a fan of a lot of these shows, no need to worry. You still will be able to enjoy your content on the CW. If you've seen any news lately, the CW is still green lighting DC shows for the future. They just now aired Naomi. Also, a series with John Diggle from Arrow has been green lit called Justice You. So basically, he's going to be looking for five super powered metahumans, basically building like <laughs> the CW's version of a Young Justice type of team. This is 100% in development, but it hasn't been 100% green lit. So if the script does not sound profitable to whoever's taking this over or the WB currently, then it might not get aired, but it is in development. I guess one good thing about this Justice You show is it's being directed and produced by the same person who did the Superman and Lois series. Me personally, with this possible shift in hands of management of the CW, I just wonder who is going to actually buy the CW knowing that it hasn't been profitable since 2006. I know this will never happen in a million years, but one thing that would be hilarious is if Disney bought the CW and then they would be having the rights to license the Marvel characters for their TV shows as well as the DC characters for their TV shows. I know that would never ever happen, but I just think it would be wild if the Disney really pulled a ballsy monopoly move like that and bought the CW network. Although I would not want to see that happen on one hand, I mean, we wouldn't have to worry about our DC TV shows lack of budget because it's Disney and they have all the funding in the world. In my personal opinion, the smart move for me would be WB making their own network again. They're really the only big dogs who don't have their own network. Disney has ABC. And then for their streaming service, they have Disney Plus and Hulu. NBC has Peacock. And then there's Paramount has Paramount Plus. Viacom has the CBS network as well as their half of stake in the CW. And I understand wanting to split the cost with somebody to cut corners and save a little money. But I remember when the WB network was a thing. And in my opinion, the quality of the shows was far better. And yes, they would have to fork up more money on the front end, but they would also be making more of the money on the back end. That just seems like the best outlet for me personally, if we're talking about future endeavors. But I guess we'll see what happens in the future. Let me know down in the comments what you think of all this stuff we discussed in the video today. It's your boy, Eddie Knight. This is Nerdy Before It Was Cool, where we nerd out about TV and film. Until next time, I'm out.